Generic greetings, fellow citizens of the internet. This is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode of FOV. And check this out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. As you can see, I've made quite a decent bit of progress in terraforming this general area. Uh, I think it's coming out quite well. I'm going to need to change the mm, contour of the wall slightly, because I think that's actually too high. Either that or I'll lower the soil up there. But for now, that's a very good amount of work, I think. And it's looking very nice. Um, I've sort of gone through several cycles of running out of materials and that kind of thing. Um, and I'm actually just coming back to this after a little bit of a break from working on that. It's been a little while, so I'm not exactly sure even where I'm at. But I will be continuing with a slightly different project right now after I sleep. Do -do -do. And, as Kurt would say, awakeness! Also, 1.7.2, as you can see, because the door textures are backwards. <laughs> so that's, and not, not all of them, just, it looks like the reverse side. So that's, that's always fun. As you can see, I'm trying to grow grass over there, it's very slow, time-consuming process. Um, I'm not sure what else is new around here, not much. I think I mentioned the house up there, yeah, I was talking about that, uh, where the vetches will eventually live uh, once I make a few more preparations, and I'm thinking I'm going to modify the design a bit as well, but I will show you that once I have gotten it done, I'm probably going to do it off camera. Uh, but you might have noticed this, which is new, and which is going to be the project I work on just now, uh, because... The villagers have been talking to me um, lately about the state of affairs and so forth, and the village keeps expanding, um, and I guess they did suffer at least one or two um, zombie raids, although the zombies all burned in sunlight and there were a few survivors and so forth. They're not all gone, but they did lose a few good people. And they have asked me to embark upon a new project to help them uh, perform a ritual, I guess. Um, they, <laughs> they were rather specific in how they wanted me to set things up, but um, they need a central building, something like this. Um, I've sort of added some style to it. Um, I might do something like this, maybe? Is this going to look good? Come, maybe bring it out just a little like that. Um, but what they were, what they were really um, adamant about was having, um, a, you know, area in here with six doors right around. Um, so I took that to mean a chamber with, you know, access to these different areas. I think I'm going to flatten out the land a little bit, add some columns around and so forth, make it look a little nicer. They also wanted an altar. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but we'll see. Um... Oh, and then down below, I'll just drop down here, directly below that they wanted an area uh, where j just just a simple, you know, 2x2 two two area. Um, and two villagers uh, want to go down here, and one will go up there. And then they asked me to turn a blind eye to what happened next, and I, I hope it's nothing shady, but they're... They've got something planned, and I, I'll, I'll go along with it because I, I, I know them well enough that I don't think they'd be. I, I trust them to some degree, so hopefully, hopefully they don't have anything nefarious up their sleeves. Uh, but I will be back with you in just a second once I have leveled out a bit more of this terrain and added a bit more to this structure to just sort of make it look better. Um, and then I will discuss uh, with the villagers and see if. Um, see, you know, what their plans are, and so forth and so on. So, I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, I have kept working, and I think the area is looking pretty nice. Um, bone mealing some grass around. I actually got some new flowers, which are looking very nice around here. Uh, but I've got some additional altars set up on either side and that kind of thing. 
And overall, the area is looking very nice, I think. Uh, the overhang works rather well. I shaped the land a bit. I think it's, think it's all shaping up pretty nicely. But alas, disaster has struck. I went back to check back with the priest uh, who I'd been talking with, and he appears to have vanished. And I am, of course, very much concerned, but somewhat, I don't know, I'm, I, I, I fear the worst, and I don't want to get my hopes up and, um, I fear I may never see him again. But he left instructions with me, should this fate befall him, um, or should, should he vanish mysteriously, um, he wished that the village continued to be rebuilt without him, uh, whatever the cost, whatever it took. Um, and these guys, how, however, however spastic and bizarre their actions may appear, um, are, are totally on board and they, they, are, they are willing to help. Um, they appear to be the only survivors of the um, Crown of Gerardus. Tragic though that may be, but they are they are steadfast and they are they are courageous and they are one one wants to give me cookies and the other one wants raw chicken for whatever reason. So um the the backup plan which the priest had given me uh involved uh expanding the village uh, manually, um, at least for temporary, um, before beginning the ritual. Um, the ritual requires three villagers, and with only two, it cannot proceed. So, the village must be expanded, and the priest mysteriously, um, sort of hinted that, um, all would become well in time. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what he meant by that, but I will continue expanding the village, um, which I happen to know means adding more doors. <laughs> I will get to that, um, add just a few doors around the area, and then, as you can see, I also have mine carts and rails in my inventory. That is because uh, part of the ritual requires um, those involved in the ritual to um, be transported to the site of the ritual in a uh, manner befitting their stature as um, the you know those worthy of partaking in the ritual sorts of activities. Uh, so they will be wheeled over in as stately a manner as is possible for me at this time, which is a minecart. Uh, <laughs> so I'll be proceeding with that as well. Actually, at the moment, uh, perhaps I will take this opportunity um, to s begin sprucing this area up a bit. Um, I'll add some doors off camera and then continue with what I do here. But firstly, I think I want to dig out the temple a little bit because it's clear that the sands of time have not been kind to it. And it's ended up somewhat buried underneath a little pile of sand here. Uh, so I'm going to dig it out a bit. And then I'm actually going to take out these gardens because I'm thinking that just the way that this area is formed uh, they're kind of cutting off the um, entrance to the temple there, and there's no real way that I'll be able to work around that without making this walkway really narrow and that kind of thing. And I really like this to be sort of a um, central area that has sort of a nice open flat area to it. So, I'm, so I'll get going with that, and then I will check back once I have made some progress and such with that. Alrighty, so I've done some design work and sort of 
retrofitted this um, area with some doors and stuff. Got some. Wait, what? What did I? What did I just see? <laughs> what? Oh! It's 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 the priest. He's <laughs> he's reincarnated. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. Very awesome. That was faster than I expected. Um. Excellent, excellent, marvelous, wonderful, delightful, great. Um, well, where, where did that priestling go? Um, Mr. Priestling, you, you have a date with destiny! Your, your predecessor gave me instructions. Where did you go? Where did he, where did he go? He, he has, he has a date with destiny and I must, I must help him keep it. You may be too young to understand now, but there will come a day. There will come a day when he will see. Oh, I need rails. I need rails to put. I need to put, put down rails to put. To put to, to, ah! Okay. You you are on a you you have you 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 have it. You have a date, sir. You have a date with destiny, and I am going to need to break the door in order to help you get there. Um. I guess I will lay the tracks first. I haven't yet decided whether I'm gonna manually push him. Or if I, oh that's not gonna work. Uh, if I'm gonna manually push him, or if I will use a powered minecart, either way will work. I imagine I may just push him to give him the uh, regal sorts of priestly treatment that he deserves as a young priest, but a priest nonetheless, and presumably worthy in his lineage. And all that sort of marvelous thing. Am I gonna have enough tracks? I don't think I will have enough tracks. I might need to make more. That's okay. I have iron. Gosh darn it, I am going to get this done. I am going to make it happen. Um, yep, I need more tracks. Is there a crafting table around someplace? Um, I think I'm gonna put a door here, because it really feels like there should be a door, not a window. Um, and the door down here just feels like a side door, not a front door. Uh, so I think I'm going to be changing that up. Uh, doop, do, doop, 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 Oh, that's not what I need. That's, uh, these are, nope. You know what, whatever. Uh, doop, 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 There we go. There's some more rails. Probably more than I need. I will use them eventually, though. That is the motto, right? There we go. So I'll go ahead and run this line up to the... Um, up to the top chamber of the ritual area, uh, cause that's where the, that's where the priest needs to be. That's where, that's where the priest goes, uh, cause he's, he's the one who needs to, I don't know, officiate the ritual or some, some sorts of nonsense like that, I don't know. Uh, right? You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I will be, I guess I will be right back with you once I've got this connected up and I'm ready to transport the guy. I just witnessed the single saddest thing I have ever seen. Um, one of the villagers just was up here, he jumped right off to his death before my eyes. I cannot believe what I just saw. That was... That was truly horrible. And on a side note, it actually does mean that I will need to postpone my plans once again. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Um, and maybe I need to put up some safety rails. Um, hmm. <laughs> you need to grow up quickly, more quickly than you could ever have imagined. <sighs> this is becoming something of an irksome project. Um, I need to go get more rails from the, or more iron from the binary base anyway, I just ran out. Um, but I will get this all straightened out, and maybe I'll work some, uh, work some on this while I'm waiting for all of that kind of thing to go on. Um, and then I will be right back, uh, hopefully with, uh, further progress and so forth like that. Actually, may maybe I'll even, like, time lapse taking this out and doing some stuff around here. We'll see, we'll see. I will fool around and figure... Oh, do I have more? A little more iron. Mm, not enough to make a huge difference. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need more. 
Uh, so yeah, I will be back in just a few. Alrighty, much time has passed. Um, I added extra doors in here and have since taken them out. I've walled this all off with dirt just so that <laughs> nothing bad could possibly happen. Uh, but now it appears that um, everything is all safe and secure. They're all three in there. Um, ritualistic means of transport and so forth and so on. Uh, so I should be ready to get this priest. Um, out to the altar where he shall do his priest things uh, give me give me this door door doesn't need to be here all right all right all right get on the rails again get on the rails again let's go let's go and then I will very slightly modify the um, grass is spread by the way yeah you can see just how long it's been by how far the grass is spread um, but yes, it is done, um, and we're getting there, so forth and so on. Don't stop, don't stop, nope, turn around. No, no, not that way, no, 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 This way, this way. I don't know where their zombies are, but they're making me very slightly nervous. They shouldn't be able to get in here, though. I've walled this place off rather thoroughly, and I haven't been around here at all at night. So it should be... Everything should be in order. Should all be safe and secure and so forth. Getting him up this stretch is probably going to be something of a challenge. We shall see. Oh boy. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't, don't build up ahead of steam. Nope. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> well, at least he'll get stopped by the other hill. <laughs> Alright, now let's, let's, let me see if I can get behind him and sort of help push him along. Not let him get stuck on the hill there. Hmm. Can I do this? Is this gonna work? Yeah, it's looking like it'll work. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's working. 
I just need to be careful not to let him ram into me with enough head of steam in order to actually... Okay, yeah, good. And... There we are. There he is. Ready to perform his duties as, you know, whatever role he's going to play in the ceremony or ritual, whatever it is. Um, I will probably construct further means of um, transporting him away from the um, area in the um, proper fashion, proper ceremonial fashion that he would require um, when the ceremony does, when the ritual does not need to happen. Uh, so, uh, again, as per orders and uh, instructions of the previous uh, priest. Now I need to get uh, the rest of these guys, the other two, um, into here. Uh, so I need to prepare a proper holding area. Smooth sandstone, of course, because it looks excellent. No, I don't want my sword. What are you doing? Don't don't do that. Don't be stupid. Uh, so something a bit like this is probably in order. Just hollow out a bit more space around here, so I have more space to work with. Uh, let's see. Um, yes. So I guess I will... Yeah, I may as well just get a bit more prepared. So forth, so on like that. Um, you know what? Do I have... No, I don't. I've got stairs. Stairs would be cool. But... A bit like this. Oh, there's dirt and stuff here. It's totally ugly. Oh well. Uh, eventually, I'm probably going to put a dispenser, uh, probably over here, um, for water, but that is as may be, uh, and that'll be later on. Uh, for now, I just want to get this up and running, and it probably shouldn't be absolutely necessary anyway. So, let me just get this, more or less. Oh, there's stuff in there. Okay, I will get this all set up and get the rail line in, and um, then I will be right back with you to get the villagers actually in place. Alrighty, everything should be in order. So, I will go ahead and grab this guy. Okay, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Alright, and bring him along. Block that off, just to be totally safe. Uh, do the same thing, similar thing, again. And... Come on. Enderman? Excuse me. Did I hear an Enderman? I think I heard an Enderman. Pretty sure I heard an Enderman. So let's see, let's see, I've got, got nearly everything I'm going to need for the, oh dear, nope, okay, okay, he stopped, good, 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 good. Uh, I've got nearly everything that is going to be required for the, uh, uh, ritual, let's see, okay, you just quickly block this off so that, Ooh, yeah, he's a baby. Um, he can't escape. Go where he shouldn't. Oh, that's not where I expected you to go, sir. Young sir. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I, I decorated this up a bit more. Uh, oh, and I missed a spot. There we go. Um, hmm. Well, that shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. I'm gonna go back and get the other guy. Uh, I mean, he should grow up and then... Oh, oh well, that works too. Okay, that's fine. So I will go ahead, go and get the other guy, and then finish this up.
All right, we're on the road. On the road again. On the way. And... Same story as before. Very much... Very straightforward, very simple. You are doing your village an honor. I can't be let in on the secrets of the ritual, and I understand this. But what I do understand is that... It is, oh, no, yep, no, you don't have the momentum. Don't, yeah, okay, good. Here we go. Alright, let's get you up there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep, yep, yep. Block that off with stairs, transparent blocks, so he won't suffocate. The minecart will still go through, and no zombies or monsters could have gotten in to wreak havoc. Aha! You're grown up. You want to give me a shovel? Okay. Fine then. Be that way. Have at thee. All right. Give me the minecart again. Oh, uh, my inventory's full. Okay. Get rid of that, and there we go. And then you can go in there. <laughs> You're shorter. You look you look shorter from up here. Uh, all right. And then I guess these two need to be these. And then I quickly let's see if I can get up there. Oh, stop that! Don't give me rotten flesh. That's not what I want. Uh, and then if I can get to here. Um. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Maybe... Is that... Yeah, it is. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I will replace it and let it grow once again. Just as soon as I'm done here. But... want to get stairs oriented properly. I will probably do something clever with glass or something so that I can see this in the future. Or maybe I won't bother about it. I'm not sure at this stage of things. But for now, it is important to... Oh, no, that's one block too high. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, back there again. Alrighty. Something like this. Something like this. Something like that. Uh... Helps so much if I wasn't quite so much of a perfectionist. Oh well, there it is. There it is. That's very good. I'll reclaim those. Replace all these blocks. Bit like that. Bit like that. Break that. Break this. And then. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can break these blocks to be sort of a way of seeing into what's going on in there. And then, oh, and I'm going to want to have, then this is going to be a miniature viewport as well. Very good. Very good. All right. And so then, get away from me, rotten flesh. I don't need rotten flesh in my inventory. Okay, that actually looks quite nice. I want to change the torches up, though. So somewhat symmetrical. Eh. Whatever. Good enough. Good enough. It's going to bug me that that torch is going to despawn, but somehow I will deal. Um. Very good. Let me go ahead and... Oh! Oh! Bad. Very bad things. <coughs> Excuse my voice. And yes, very, very bad things. Very very incredibly bad things. I am not healing and not able to sprint because I am incompetent and can't figure out how to eat. But at least... Ooh! Ooh! That one villager is very exposed up top there. I had better sleep very quickly. Sleep very, very quickly indeed and really hope that no zombies are on their way actively up to get him. Torch spam this a little bit. That's very dark. My goal is, of course, to light up absolutely everywhere inside the walls and have the walls be safe 24... Like, within the village, be safe 24-7 uh, through the night and through the day uh, so that no zombies can get their way in or any other bad things, for that matter. 
but it's certainly not there yet and there are gaps all through the whole, all all kinds of gaps through the walls okay good the priest is okay that's the important thing that was what I was worried about okay so he should be within 16 blocks of the doors I believe let's see this is so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah well within thir uh, 16 sorts of blocks so he should be activating this as a village and I'll be able to move him on his minecart away a bit so that it will no longer be a village. And it shouldn't matter that there are other doors and stuff over there because there are no villagers over there, uh, <laughs> for better or for worse. Uh, I will reevaluate and figure out a better way of doing things when and if I have to. Uh, but for now, this should suit my needs perfectly. And this should be a village up here. And then the folks down here should um I'm gonna try and get that torch <laughs> it's going to bother me too much uh, let me quickly um, pick up the rotten flesh then pick up the torch purposes of stacking then I'll tunnel my way all the way around because that is what I do um, so yes, this should be a, aha, I got it, I got it, okay, we're good, everything's fine, everything is fine, everything is fine, okay, very good, very good, um, so what was I saying, was I saying anything important? I don't think I was saying anything all too important, but basically yes, um, this should get me more villagers, <laughs> um, so the ritual has been completed, and it is now simply up to the villagers to do their part and and we can repopulate the village uh, or <laughs> more probably set up some trading stations and so forth to get some trading going I'm quite looking forward to it it should be very nice uh, I think that I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting table for over here uh, I guess I'll put it... where can I put it? you know what, this, this entire area is just gonna be changed completely changed up but I guess I will put it here for now and then with it I will make myself quick chest because I have far too many items at the moment I will drop some things off, I guess just these doors, um, and the minecarts, I won't need minecarts for a while probably, we shall see, um, but yes, very good, very good, very good, I've rambled on for quite some time about absolutely nothing whatsoever at the end here, uh, I will go ahead and end the episode, I think, next time I don't know what I'll do next time I don't know what I'll doing next time I don't know what I'll be doing but I will find something and we shall see it will probably involve villagers uh, I might get started on an iron golem farm and I might get started on villager trading uh, either way I'm basically just gonna need to wait for this setup to get going a bit and um, yeah Wait for this to get going a bit, and then I really do want to get into villager trading and or golem farms or similar sorts of things because uh, I want to get ahead as quickly as possible and get some of the cool stuff that is implied by those sorts of endeavors. Hence, you know, like, or in other words, uh, my mind is starting to fail and my lips are going as well uh, because it is late at night it took very long time very very it took a very long time for all of this to happen as you can see all of this grass is all the way over here ah uh, I apologize but yes uh, I do want to gain the benefits of not only villager trading which can give me access to unlimited diamond tools and the like um, as well as golem farms uh, which would be obviously infinite iron which is always handy especially if I'm gonna be doing some 
some of the crazy things that I'd like to do in this series, uh, which will involve lots and lots of hoppers and that kind of thing. Uh, but for now, I think that that does, in fact, round off the episode. And I will bid you farewell for now. See you in the next video. Goodbye.